Now let's go ahead and get started working on our bladed weapon by working on the base. So here we just got an empty scene in 3ds Max, and so we want to have sort of a, a nice clean shape to begin doing some sculpting. So this is going to be the most decorative part of our weapon. We can do some sort of design on it, but it's going to be kind of a guard uh, over the back of the hand and cover some of the uh, the base of the blades and the grip and so forth. So I want to start by just creating a plane rather than a cube because I want to add thickness after I do some shaping to this. So we'll go ahead and go to Create Panel Plane under Standard Primitives. And instead of dragging this out, I'm going to go to Keyboard Entry. And I'm going to put in maybe 100 by 100 in the length and width. And go ahead and say Create. All right, we can then go to Modify. And for instance, if we go to the top view here, we can change some of our segments. So I've got 6 and 6. I think maybe that will be good. As far as the length and the width, I want to make it maybe a little bit longer than it is wide. So maybe 110 by 100, something like that. So this is going to be the top of this. So let's say this is the back, this is the front, and obviously these are the sides. So now I can go in and start to modify the shape. So I'll convert this to an editable poly. All right, let's go ahead and access the uh, vertex sub-objects. And now I can come in and just start to modify these. So maybe I'll pull this down and bring this in a little bit. Okay, maybe I'll go ahead and shape the front a little bit more, make it a little bit, give it a little bit more shape here. Okay, so thinking of this as the, the front of it, maybe pull that in, you know, something like that. And you can do kind of whatever you want with the shape. You just want to have kind of a nice clean quad, uh, quad piece of geometry so that when you take it into Mudbox, you'll have the ability then to do some nice sculpting on it and add any sort of detail uh, that you do want to add. So let's go ahead and pull these corners out and back. Okay, it's something like that. Let me grab these and I'll just pull those back as well. Okay, and I'm just trying to use my scale and move to do this all on the uh, on the same side on the both sides at the same time rather. So I just kind of pull these out. On some of these I'll just pull them out to make it a little bit cleaner in the look of it. Let's go ahead and pull this out a little bit and back. Let's go ahead and pull this where it comes in. Let's pull that back a little bit too. Okay, so I'm going to pull all of these back and we're still, it's still completely flat, so we're working with a single, it's on a single plane, so we don't have to worry about you know, moving anything in, a, in another plane. And let's go ahead and add one more line right in here. Okay, so to do that, I can use the graphite tools and I just want to use let's go ahead and open those up there we go I want to use swift loop to just drop that in and then I can go ahead and take those and just tweak that shape a little bit so that's a nice smooth curve okay so keep in mind that when we take this out to mudbox it is going to get smoothed so we're not going to have the facets there all right, so once we've got some shaping on this done, the next thing we want to do is kind of shape this in 3D. Okay, so right now it's just a completely flat piece. So if we go, you can see in, there in our perspective. So I'm going to go ahead and just select, since we have a pretty low resolution, we can come in here and just select the individual uh, vertices. And I'll just kind of move those up a little bit. So you get something like that. And then I'll select those inner points. Kind of do the same thing. And I don't want a, a really drastic curve. I just want a little bit of shape in there. Okay, just a little bit. Maybe take those ones right in the middle. And just bring those up slightly. So you get something like that. All right, so I also want to add some eye holes. So let's say for my version, I'm going to have some sort of a, well, let's do like an alien kind of, uh, alien kind of face or skull kind of designed into the top of this guard. So I want to have actually some holes here for uh, where the eyes are going to be. And I think that's going to be 
up in this area. But I want them to be kind of right in here. So I'm going to actually kind of move these points out a little bit. Okay. And let's take these edges. Let's take both of these. We'll do a loop select. Okay. And let's go down and let's just chamfer those. So I'll take the segments up until we get something kind of like that. All right, so I'll say OK to that. And then we can come in and shape this a little bit. So I want to have a little bit of room between the eyes. So I'll just make these a bit bigger. All right. You can smooth that out a little bit, but then I want to go in and actually select those polygons and just delete those. Okay. Now at this point, if you want to come in and kind of smooth this, you could, you know, take these points and relax them or you could just manually kind of move some of these points down. All right, and you'll have the opportunity. We're not going to do too much work on the on the topology or the shape of it here in uh, rather in mut in uh, Max, because we're going to be doing a lot of the uh, smoothing and and sculpting in Mudbox. So once we have this shape, we need to now add some thickness to it. So to do that, I'm going to use a modifier, and I'll just use a shell modifier. And let's go ahead and give it some. If we want to bring that, raise it up, we'd give it an outer amount. So let's just give it maybe something like that. All right. So I've got maybe an outer amount of 9 or 10. Get that 10 in there. So this is fairly thick. And I don't want to add one segment. Or I don't want to add a segment just yet. I will want to shortly, but I want to go ahead and can collapse this into an, convert to an edible poly. And then I want to shape it a little bit before I actually before I actually uh, go ahead and add that resolution. I want to take the bottom on the front to so these points and move those out. Okay, I want to take the points on the sides and move those out as well. So get all these points just on the outside. And I want to go ahead and scale those out. And give it kind of a a shape kind of like that. Okay, and we can do the same thing with the back. Actually, on the back, I think we want to actually do the opposite. So I'm going to pull this top back a little bit. Make sure you get all those points there. Okay, so now if we want to create another sort of layer here, we can go back to our Swift loop and add another line right in here. Okay, and then we can come in and start to extrude some of these uh, polygons out. So we go ahead and just select those polygons on the bottom row. And I'll select them all the way around to where it starts to go in right there. All right, and now let's go ahead and extrude those out. So I'll extrude, extrude them out by group. And then we'll go ahead and say OK to that. And then let's just manually place these. So I want to move it down and scale it out a little bit. Okay, and you can come into your side view. It'll go a little bit easier for you if you do that before you, you uh, deform it. But either way, you can get that geometry out there. And then I'll just clean that from the top. Just grab those edges. So we've got an edge there and an edge here. And just kind of move that up and out. Just giving us another sort of layer for this geometry. And then just clean that up a little, get a little bit. You want to get some thickness out here on the sides. Okay, so you can go ahead and just scale that in. And again, just working with the points on both sides simultaneously. 
Okay. And I do want to add a little bit more thickness to the back of this. So grab that and just move it back. And then make this point a little bit more prominent as well. So you end up with something like that. You want to make sure you don't miss any points there, as I did. And so you end up with something like that. And if you want to, you could come in and thicken that up a bit. Okay, and we'll have to, to uh, do a little bit more work on this. What we want to do is uh, create UVs for these pieces before we export them. And we also want to shore up any of the edges that we want to be especially sharp as we take those into Mudbox. So we'll go ahead and continue the process in the next lesson.